On October 4, 2014, almost six years to the day, ASU football headed to the Coliseum to take on number 16 ranked USC. Quarterback Mike Bercovici and wide receiver Jalen Strong would have become etched in ASU history with this game dubbed the Jail Mary. Let's kick it off with three minutes left in the game. Javorius Buck Allen will find a hole and Buck Allen is gone. No Sun Devil defenders will catch him and USC goes up 34-25. But ASU is not done yet. They would get a quick score and get the ball back to set up this play right here. Quarterback Mike Bergovici heaves it, hoping for a miracle, and he gets it with Jalen Strong. Strong coming out of nowhere to save the day. No time remaining. Bergovici, he can't believe it. Trojan fans, they can't believe it. And the Jail Mary is born. Mike Bercovici only making his second career start, filling in for quarterback Taylor Kelly. He had over 500 yards passing and strong over 200 yards receiving, an absolute classic for ASU. I'm here with Jake Garcia, who covered this ASU football team for Cronkite Sports. Um, now Jake, break the play down for me. How was ASU able to make this play happen with what seems to me like little contest from from USC at the line of scrimmage and downfield near the end zone. First things first, their decision to drop eight, in my opinion, the right decision. Uh, it was it was probably the way that they decided to, to go about their business there on the back end that really cost them. The, the guy that I remember everyone focusing on back in 2014 was Hayes Pillard. Um, I want to say he played linebacker. Yes, uh, and and you, could, you could see him uh, instead of, you know, going up and batting the ball down, kind of fading away. Um, which, you know, if you're if you're a defender and you're going for the ball in that situation, you're not going to get a pass interference called. So there's no reason to be fading away. And to me, that was always the the player that I was like, man, what what are what was going through his head there? Todd Graham said, quote, that was the most unbelievable night I've ever had coaching. And this was also ASU's first win at the Coliseum since 1999. How significant and memorable was this play, do you think? It was super significant because it turned around the season in 2014. They went on to win five straight games, including that that went over USC, and it put them directly in the conversation for the college football playoff. And I that could have been the first year of the college football playoff, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I know like ASU was nationally relevant. Maybe not after they beat USC, but after they rattled off all those wins, one of which was against Notre Dame a few weeks later, a top 10 Notre Dame team. So it completely changed that season. Um, and obviously they then lose to Oregon State, lose to Arizona in the last game of the season. So they weren't exactly um, in, in the most prestigious game they could have been in. But there was a moment there to where ASU fans were chanting, we want Bama. Jake, thank you for coming on virtually. I appreciate that. Um, I'm Jonah Krause signing off for Cronkite Sports.